Psychological dream or metaphysical? Or both? Okay. So, this uh, some wanders indeed with that skill of uh, dream, psychological dream, metaphysical experience, interpretation, which is basically symbolic knowing. Why do some people wanderers have that skill and some don't? <laughs> or why do some have some wanderers have that development and others don't? <clears throat> uh, I mean, a skill. Um, ha- I mean, you know, a, a person who's a great archer and can shoot an arrow really well. Uh, is there a purpose in coming to Earth? The development or utilization of that skill? Not necessarily. No. There are people who are great athletes. Um, who who are missing some crucial aspects of their life purpose by the fact that they uh, think that their life purpose is not much more than than the utilization of their skill. Meaning, (laughs) the the existence of a skill is not the same as a life purpose. And there are many purposes in one's life that may um, be supported, the fulfillment of those purposes may be supported by the skills or abilities that brought that the wanderer brings in. <clears throat> but the focusing on that skill or development isn't the purpose of their incarnation. And there may be uh, purposes for the wanderer's incarnation that have nothing to do with their skills at all, but have to do with what they haven't, de- have not developed, not what they have developed. So a wanderer that's a great uh, archer, hello, big butterfly, a wanderer who's a great archer or a great warrior, ahem, um, may think that the purpose of their life is to keep using that skill for some purpose. It may have nothing there. The purpose of this incarnation may have nothing to do with that skill, <laughs> but they assume it does. So don't assume it does. <laughs> the point is to look into what's difficult and there you'll find um, potential growth. And the actualization of that potential, or making that growth in the face of whatever we find difficult, that's close to, that's associated with life purpose, or incarnational purpose. Not necessarily any skill, or any further development of a skill, or any utilization of a skill. That may or may not be associated with a uh, life incarnational purpose. Yes. So, so uh, one has, and we all do, have multiple purposes that have nothing to do with our abilities. They have to do with what we're not able to do well. <laughs> so, like, I can say me, right? I'm a teacher. Oh, what a great skill. Um, perhaps there are, not perhaps, for sure, there are certain purposes to my incarnation now that have nothing to do with this, <clears throat> that I may neglect and avoid by focusing on my skill, or this, uh, this that is easy or not, not you know, troublesome. So focusing on what I do well may actually be a great means of avoiding working through what I don't do well, which is much closer to the development of mind or being <clears throat> associated with facing and uh, taking on my taking on the responsibility of learning uh, that which I don't do well, learning certain things or make certain development in ways I don't do well, may be far more important to life purpose than the, the elaboration or continuance of what I already do well. <laughs> That's a very bitter pill, and actually, we it's the case for all of us. <clears throat> <clears throat>